Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Death Grips custom scales. Um, so this is going to be a essentially a review or overview just of the custom scales and not of the knife itself. So we're gonna deviate from the normal format a bit. And um, yeah, so Death Grips, uh, here is his card. Um, and he does custom scales for Benchmade models. And there is his email and uh, name consequently. So, all right. So um, let's just start off. So this is the Benchmade uh, full-size Doug Ritter grip. Um, and this, I ordered the uh, special version from Knifeworks with the M390 stonewash blade. Um, and then I ordered some custom scales from Ryan. And these are carbon fiber with some desert ironwood inlay. And kind of as what is a, uh, an overview, they are without question the nicest aftermarket scales that I've ever seen. So just absolutely beautiful, extremely well, well made, amazing tolerances. Um, and I've been a fan of his work for a number of years now, but um, you know, I finally decided to uh, pick up a pair. And the funny thing was I didn't have the knife and then order the scales. I wanted the scales and so I ordered the knife. So that's, uh, you know, kind of the, a little deviation from the norm for most people, but I like the scales enough that I had to buy a knife to stick them on. So this is what I got. Uh, again, M390, special limited edition or special edition blade, but uh, really an amazing combo. So, um, all right, so that was kind of a brief overview. Um, really awesome. I will put his contact information down below. So be sure to check out um, his Instagram, and then he has a Blade Forms uh, services offered thread that will have pictures and examples of all of his work there. So that's a good place to go if you're looking for more info. Um, so this is my second pair of scales from Ryan. Um, my first pair, if you guys look at back at my video feed, you will see a, uh, a video way back when um, called Produ uh, Customized Production Knives. And you'll see a Benchmade mini grip in there with some carbon fiber scales. And those were his as well. And those were the handmade editions. And these ones, his new stuff is all CNC'd now, um, which, you know, in his old ones were the nicest I'd had. And these ones are just a step above. So again, let's, uh, let me try to focus on this while I kind of jabber a bit here. So he, uh, he works with a CNC machine. He actually built it himself from a, I guess, a manual mill, which he said it wasn't impressive, but it certainly sounds impressive. And um, he, he can do interesting inlays of different materials. I went with the um, Desert Ironwood because I thought this was a really interesting combination of kind of old and new, you know, natural materials versus kind of modern materials. Um, just a really classy, really elegant knife. Um, and then the Stabilized Desert Ironwood um, is pretty scratch resistant and then carbon fiber hardly shows wear. So, Really nice overall package, and it carries all of the good things that you know and love about the um, Doug Ritter grip as well. So, all right. So quickly, we've kind of touched about who Ryan is. Um, he's been making custom scales um, in both the hand and the CNC version for a number of years now, but really started developing the programming stuff for his CNC machine about a year ago, um, and just the quality is phenomenal. So um, let's talk about the models he currently works with. Uh, Griptilian, Mini Griptilian 940, and then the Ritter Grips in large and small, those actually have the same handles as the um, Griptilian and Mini Griptilian, so they all function. He's hoping to do a couple models later, like the 710, the 580, and the 585, but just a matter of time and uh, really devoting the energy to sit down and program those. And then as far as materials he works with, Again, you can check the threads for uh, examples, but carbon fiber, G10, canvas micarta, silver twill, C-Tech, any stabilized wood that he can get his hands on, and then um, essentially any composite material, uh, crinite, juma, some other things as well. So, um, you know, he's pretty much willing to work with whatever you want, um, but there obviously there has to be um, some cost components as well, but I just talk to him if you have something that uh, you're really interested in, so. Um, let me show you a couple things that I really, really like that he does well. Um, one is the absolute seamless transition between the materials. There is really no noticeable, um, you can't tell at all. It's just been perfectly machined. And so it, it sits really nice, it looks really good. Um, he also 
when he did the handles up here, as you can see, the, the jimping here actually rises above the um, scales as it should. I've had other ones that didn't do that well. And then the same with the underside here. Again, he left the kind of the mild uh, jimping exposed, so you really get good traction on the knife. But nice thick pieces of carbon fiber on this particular one. He uses a low void aerospace carbon fiber and uh, just really, really high quality stuff. So, um, yeah, so again, as I said, I ordered this, I wanted the scales really bad, so I ordered the knife to fit it. Um, and let's talk about price. I guess some of his G10 stuff goes from like 85, and then if you want to get really crazy with like the carbon fiber and the ironwood, up to like 175 as of March 2015. So this one is kind of the cream of the crop, best of the best, and obviously the most expensive, so anyhow. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that's pretty much all the basic information. Um, I'm just really stoked to have this one. I, you know, it's, um, it's just really beautiful, it's really classy, um, it's very functional, feels really good. As an interesting side note, um, Doug Ritter actually contacted Ryan and had him build um, a like a set of custom scales for um, his own personal uh, Doug Ritter grip. So that was pretty sweet. Um, you got the man contacting to make scales for him. So uh, that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Ryan, he, he has a lot of really creative ideas. He has a lot of things he wants to do. Um, it's just a matter of really devoting the time to do it. So we chatted about a few things I'd like to see from him later on. Um, and he chatted about a few things he'd like to get to as well. But uh, he said he might have to take pretty much his vacation time from work in order to, to get all the stuff done that he wants to. But let's talk about value real quick. So, um, as, as most of you know, Benchmade um, started enforcing their uh, minimum advertised price policy back in December of 20, maybe 2013. Um, so basically every everything, all the Benchmades, their prices essentially went up to us as the end user. And then after that, they started really jacking up the prices on their gold class stuff, which some of you may or may not feel is worth it at those prices. But to me, um, this is as nice as any of the Benchmade gold class. In fact, I would probably say it's probably nicer. Um, he can, actually we chatted about it, but he can do the uh, the C-Tech with the carbon fiber, just like that uh, 710 that was like six or 700 bucks. So um, I, th I thought that was pretty funny that he could do it for way cheaper. But uh, anyhow, so I would put this up against any of the Benchmade Gold class, and let's talk about what I paid. Um, so from Knifeworks, the M390, this particular knife is like 140 bucks. And then from Ryan, this these scales were about, 170. So, I mean, we're looking at what 310 bucks for an M390 stonewash blade with carbon low void aerospace carbon fiber and stabilized desert ironwood inlays. Um, and if you put that up against any bench made, anything in the gold class, um, really it's a, it's a way better value than anything they're currently offering. If they were to do this. I don't know, six, somewhere between 600 and probably a thousand bucks with what they charge right now. So um, yeah, just a just a really awesome knife, really awesome value compared to what the actual company is doing. I, again, it's, it's just really interesting. So um, the wait time is currently about three weeks. It might be longer by the time you get around to ordering. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to do this video. I've got a lot of other videos that I kind of pushed aside because I'm, I'm just really stoked about these. Um, and I haven't had them for that long, but his other ones that I had for well over a year um, were just fantastic. And this one just exudes quality. So yeah, just a really sweet little knife here. Well, little compared to a lot of my other ones, but uh, yeah, if you're interested, um, I definitely recommend you just go check out his thread, see if there's anything you, that you want. And then if there's something special you're looking for, um, you know, feel free to contact him and ask him if it can be done or if it's financially feasible to try and attempt it. So anyways, um, thanks so much again, Ryan. I'm super stoked um, and thanks. I got to chat with him on the phone for about an hour before this video. So that was cool too to hear about what he's working on, what he's got coming up and what he'd like to do. But um, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hopefully, 
I've given you enough eye candy to match my ramblings here, but um, just a really sweet knife. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, probably ask Ryan, but you can ask me too in the comment section box down below. But uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.